Three financial planning tips for your 20s. Tip number one, invest in yourself. When you're in your 20s and just starting a career, take time to invest in yourself. This might mean going back to formal education like university to earn a master's degree or perhaps self-directed online learning. Take the time to grow your human capital, your life experiences and your knowledge. It doesn't get easier to invest in yourself later in life. Tip number two, build positive financial behaviors. Here is a controversial idea. Learn how to spend before learning how to save. What do I mean by that? What do you want your money to do? Do you want it for security? Do you want it for happiness? Do you want it so you can take care of others? Once you understand how money helps you achieve what is important, start setting up buckets, otherwise known as sinking funds, where you allocate money. Teach yourself how to start spending in categories, then start saving. Put money into your employer's retirement plan or set up a self-directed account. Even if you can only put a few hundred dollars away, work on developing and automating your savings. You can't invest if you don't have the ability to save. Too often we jump into investing, which is a longer term habit, when we haven't developed a skill for saving, which is a shorter term discipline. Tip number three, take some risk. When you're young, this is the best time to take risk. It's true from both an investment standpoint and from a life standpoint. When investing, look for equities and don't invest too conservatively. You have a longer time horizon to let your money grow. But remember, learn how to save first. Take risks in life too. Look for startups and opportunities that let you grow and flourish. Start a side hustle where you try to monetize a hobby you already have. I know many young people just want a sure thing in their first job. However, a company that will grow and help you grow might be a better fit in the long run. Here are some good rules of thumb for your 20s. One, by the end of your 20s, try to have an emergency fund that holds six months of your living expenses either in cash or an easily accessible investment with low risk. Number two, a long-term fund. This should equal one to three times your starting salary. For example, if you started working at a minimum wage job that paid you 30000 a year, you want to have between 30000 to 90000 saved by the time you're 30. Now, caveat. I understand not everyone is in a position to do this. Most of my clients who are in their 20s started off living at home, so they were able to save an average of $10,000 a year.